Hello everybody, my name is Hunters World Gaming. Welcome to Bongi and Don Ghosts. It's actually from Webtoon, but actually back in 2017, I read that in my oldest video yet, along with the Oxus Station Ghosts. If you haven't seen that one, or if you never have, you might go search that up, or you might go check on my channel to see that oldest one for yourself, actually. Or you might be able to search that. If I just find it, just in case, it might be easier for you. The link will be down in the description below. So this is actually a different one, which comes from Webtoons. It was on comic.naver.com. It was actually gone and actually moved on to Webtoons and added some new features right there. And including some new reading right there and some new paragraphs and all that. So uh, in case you've never seen me reading this one, you might be able to actually watch this for yourself. If you never, if you never have already... You might go check that one out. It's, as I said about the oldest video about Bong Hyun Dong Ghost I read, along with Agassu Station Ghost, in, 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 in the next video of that, you might go check those out for yourself, actually. So, here we go. The following is a special chiller thriller, which may include shocking scenes. Viewer discretion is advised for pregnant women, the elderly, and those with weak hearts. Turn up your volume when reading. Chiller for more immersive experience. Okay, that is so super scary. Okay, so I have to scroll down, right? No. Wait. Oh, oh, there. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. All right. It was around 11.20 that night. I was dragging myself home exhausted after a tiring night study sessions at school. But there was no one on the streets, which I thought was strange. You usually see a lot of people even that even at night since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyways... Feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eyes, although there wasn't anyone around me. I looked up to see who was who there was. I saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. I could say that she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if her, all her joints were in, in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out to everywhere. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, nor did I have the guts to pass her by. Ah! 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 Fuck! Oh! 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 What? What? Okay. Okay. That is a good CGI right there. Whoever did that from Korea, Korean anime, turning this into fucking CGI? Oh, God, fuck. Man, that was really scary. Oh, you don't know, you know people say that if you are really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right, I, I froze there and I'd be able to move at all. Where's my baby? Oh, my thoughts were racing in her question. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It still gives me chills thinking that moment. I answered, pointing as far as I could. Oh, over there. I just wanted her to get away from me. Then she went towards to uh, where I had pointed to. And I couldn't see her anymore. Fearing that I might run around into her again... I tried to turn around and leave that apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there would be people around. At that moment, she's not here. I heard her screaming from far away. <gasps> ah! Ah! <gasps> fuck! Oh, God damn! Oh, God, fuck you! Oh! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, fuck you! Ow! Alright. I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. 
Uh, in 2007, at an apartment complex in Bonhian, Dong Guang Aguxiu, a 33-year-old woman jumped out of the apartment and died on the spot. Known as surname Cho, a divorcee due to her extra mar uh, martial affair, she had lost her custody of her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After that innocent, Cho was seen walking around that apartment complex several times. Oh my fucking god. Ah! 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 Fuck! Oh god! Oh god! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh god, fuck it. Oh Jesus Christ! I, I, I really want to know whether there, there was something more to it, or... If I was just going to read more of it, or... Uh... Jesus. Maybe? Maybe that's it. That's it now. Holy shit. Oh, God. Alright. Okay, I think that... I think that's... That's it right now. If there was a comic here... That goes to Webtoons. Jesus fucking Christ. It's a 2011 horror website by Horang. I get that. What the fuck was that? Alright, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Bongi and Dongos. Actually... Man, that was such a good old time for me reading this shit. That was really scary from Korea. Horang, you did a really great job. My brother used to read that when, when he was a little kid, along with my age just a long time ago, when we were reading and we got to scare the hell out of us as well. If you enjoyed this already, make sure you drop that like button, stay 20% cooler, be ready for the real action. And I'll get to our uh, Akasu Station Ghost in the next one for another scary reading right there. It's supposed to be like another creepypasta reading right there, like Hunter Reed's creepypasta series. But I think that's supposed it's not even like creepypasta. It's like a, a different element from Korea by Horang. So as always, I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you for watching, guys. See ya, ciao.